Good evening. Are we excited tonight? I am so excited and delighted that we have so many folks here to celebrate. I come every single year to the Night of the Stars for three reasons. First of all, we know that the talent tonight is better than the talent on The Voice, better than the talent on American Idol, better than the talent on American Greatest, I want to thank you for celebrating what we know is talent that is better than anything that LA's Hollywood got. But the second reason I come is the reason that I think many of you are here, and that is to support an incredible organization, Community Housing Partnership. We know in the city of St. Francis that homelessness is one of the greatest challenges that we have faced in decades. And this is an organization that is leading the way to make sure that homelessness ends in San Francisco. CHP, as you will hear during the course of the night, is providing a national model in how we serve folks who don't have homes and how we make sure that folks who don't have homes today have homes tomorrow and for the rest of their lives. But the third reason why I come to this event is because CHP has an incredible organization of people behind it. You'll hear about the board members, you'll hear about the staff, but it is my pleasure to introduce the woman who runs this organization, the woman who runs an incredible organization, the one and only executive director, Gail Gilman, come on up. <laughs> Beautiful or what? Yeah. 
You're going to hear music. We're going to talk to you. You're going to see dancers. But it's all for a very, very special cause. Anyone here for the first time no. for this event? No. One, two, one, two. No. Anybody else here? Well, this is my first time, and I'm so, so happy. Good evening, everyone. Um, it's the first time not only as an attendee, but as a co yeah. uh, MC with you. And I'm right. so blessed. I'm so fortunate. I'm very excited. And uh, thanks, the organizers, for inviting me to this wonderful occasion. And uh, let's end the homelessness together. Yeah. This yeah. is an opportunity. So, beyond the fact that she's a wonderful person, Fabiola is a great friend. So it's my honor to be standing here next to her. So we're going to have a good time together, and we're going to keep our program going. going. But first, I want to tell you about tonight's event. This year's event. We have five amazing, incredible performers, all of whom at some point have either experienced or they overcame homelessness. Now, they were all selected through an audition process. It was in January. There were 35, more than 35 individuals who were then paired up with some very special local mentors who helped them get ready for tonight's performances. And the theme this year is through the decades. So each performer tonight is going to take us through different decades, starting with the 1960s up until right now. And as each individual performs for you, which I know you'll be applauding very loud, right? Yeah. Okay, good. The best judges in North America will be watching them very, very closely, judging them on their decade representation, their technical abilities, their audience support, the stage presence, and overall performing. And speaking of the best judges anywhere, where are the judges? Can you just stand up? Can we just try to light them? Here are the judges. Give them a big hand. I see some familiar faces amongst the, the judges. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. We're going to have a top job. So this sounds like we're going to have a spectacular evening with lots of memories, lots of music, dance, rhythm, lots of entertainment, yes, but so many stories of success. Yeah, we get to bring out some of the dancers right now. I think you'll enjoy the dancers. Would you give a, a, a round of applause for some very, very special <laughs> Francisco in 1980. 
1987, he had no place to stay. He spent two years out on the streets and a few more living in the Tenderloin in the Neighborhood Development Corporation uh, apartment. He finally found a home at Community Housing Partnerships Iroquois building. This man learned to play the guitar at 12 years old. He gave up the guitar for most of his adult life. Now, after being away from the guitar for 10 years, a hiatus, he's back now. He's got his acoustic guitar. He's got his bandana on. He's got his shades. He's got a grin on his face. And he is ready to take you back to the 1960s with a song that John Denver made famous, Leaving on a Jet Plane. A big hand, please, for Delaney. I've made my own since my experiences here, and uh, it's music from the heart. All my bags are packed, I'm ready to go I'm standing here outside your door I hate to wake you up to say goodbye But dawn is breaking, it's early morning the taxi's waiting, he's a blowing his horn. Already I'm so lonesome, I could cry. Oh, I'm a leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back again. I hate to go So many times I let you down So many times I played around But now I tell you They don't mean a thing And every place I go I think of you in every song I sing I sing for you and when I come back I'll bring your wedding ring Oh, I'm leaving on a jet plane Don't know when I'll be back again Now the time has come for me to leave So close your eyes, let me kiss you And I'll be on my way Dream about the times to come When I won't have to leave alone and I won't have to say So kiss me and smile for me Tell me that you'll wait for me And hold me like you'll never let me go Oh, I'm leaving oh, Jet plane, don't know when I'll be back again. Oh, babe, I hate to go.
introduces the innovative community development block grants program, becoming the basis of funding for housing for homeless and foster children, employment and job training programs, and also the overall fight against poverty. Yes. In 1978, the Council of Community Housing Organizations forms and begins leading the San Francisco Affordable Housing Movement. After losing everything in Hurricane Katrina, remember, this was in 2005, when Juan and his family relocated him to Burlingame, California. Juan then moved to San Francisco, and he began rebuilding his life yet again. Then the economic downturn hit, and he was laid off from his job and evicted from his Soma apartment. After experiencing homelessness for a period of time in San Francisco, Huemi was able to secure space in one of the Glides supported housing apartments. Was able to As a French Quarter native, Huame grew up surrounded by music, <laughs> playing violin, clarinet, and saxophone all throughout his childhood. He just started on the electric guitar this year, and he's going to wow us with a 1970s Led Zeppelin hit, When the Levy Breaks. Please welcome Huame. Good evening. After a long journey, it's a pleasure uh, to end up on this stage when the levee breaks. If it keeps on raining, levee's gonna break. If it keeps on raining, levee's gonna break. When the levee breaks, have no place to stay. You know who levee taught me to weep and moan. Me know who levee taught me to weep and moan. Got what it takes to make a mountain man leave his home. Well, uh, where shall I go? I guess I'm going to San Francisco. Praying won't do you no good. Crying won't help you. Praying won't do you no good. When the levee breaks, mama, you got to move. So go on and move, mama.
I'd like to say uh, my name is Kwame Evans, and it was a pleasure to play for you. Please give to CHP. And uh, happy birthday, Mama. That was Kwame Evans. Anybody here remember the 70s? No. Now, the guys, you, you had the bell bottoms and the mutton chop sideburns and the afro. Yeah, OK. And the ladies, you know what you had, yeah. Because we were watching, I know. All right, that was Kwame Evans. And there's so much more to bring out. So we've done the 70s now. We're moving towards the 80s. Now, the 80s. The 80s were interesting for a lot of different reasons. Throughout the 80s, the real power of the affordable housing movement really started to grow. In 1987, the Coalition of Homelessness formed to directly engage homeless and low-income San Franciscans in the struggle for economic and social justice. And inspired by all of that, inspired by all that action, a lot of community groups in San Francisco joined the fight for the rights of those who are most in need and working towards solving poverty and homelessness in San Francisco. That's now that's a reason to dance about. So we should dance. Shall we dance? Cardinality dance group for you once more. Yeah. To the boogity bang bang, the boogie to the boogity beat. You see, I am Wonder Mike, and I like to say hello. Or to the black, to the white, the red, and the brown, the purple, and yellow. But first, I gotta bang bang the boogie to the boogie. Say up, jump the boogie to the bang bang boogie. Let's rock. You don't stop, rock the rhythm that'll make your body rock. Now, in case you forgot, that was the Sugar Hill Gang. <laughs> but you remembered, I know. Now we get to bring out another talented lady when we're talking about the 80s. Her name is LaTanya. <laughs> oh, you've heard of her? <laughs> LaTanya has a very interesting story, Fabiola. When LaTanya's youngest son was just one year old, her mom passed away, and that left LaTanya and her two small children out on the streets. Now, LaTanya was able to find a home in supportive housing. She's now the proud mother of three and a grandmother of three. Now, living in San Francisco has been transformational for her and for her family. She's been a lifelong member of a church choir, she believes that singing calms her soul. Uh, huh? All right, I'll just wave at you on that. It, it's a black church thing. It's OK. I would never say that. <laughs> but let me get back to LaTanya. LaTanya, now stop that. LaTanya is here tonight to share her talent on stage She's got this booming voice, and she'll be taking you on a journey back to the 1980s. Remember the musical Dream Girls and the song, And I Am Telling You? Well, I'm telling you, we're bringing out LaTanya. So give a big hand for LaTanya. Hello, everyone. As he said, my name is LaTanya. I am not Jennifer Hudson, I'm LaTanya Jones. And I'm going to sing an a cappella tonight. I don't have no music tonight, but I'm going to sing an a cappella. So please, I hope you enjoy it. <sighs> and I am telling you, I'm not going. You're the best man I've ever known. There's no way I can ever go. No, 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 no way. 
No, no, no way I'm gonna live without you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not living without you. I don't wanna be free. I'm staying, I'm staying, I'm staying. from the performances and bring up Janas Pucheta. He will share with us his story of how Community Housing Partnerships Desk Clerk Training Program has changed his life. Okay. Janas, welcome. We'll, thank you for sharing your story with us. Good evening. In 1996, I began working as a counselor at a nonprofit that helped people who were homeless. When I related to my clients, I would always say, I am just a paycheck away from being homeless myself. Unfortunately, in 2006, that statement became a reality. The nonprofit I was working for lost its funding. They closed the program. I lost my job, and later I lost my home. I was homeless for six months. Clearly, the solution to being homeless was to get a job. But being homeless was a job, I found out. I had to leave the shelter at 6 a.m. penniless. And all day long, I was standing in lines food lines, case manager lines, employment office lines, and lines to re-enter a shelter at night. Thankfully, after six months, I was able to find housing in an SRO and began thinking about how to rebuild my life. I started applying for jobs and interviewing again, but my employment gap was expanding. The more I was denied jobs, the harder it became. I got depressed. I lost confidence and started blaming myself. This continued for the next four years and was truly a challenging part of my life. My family had needs and I couldn't help them. My daughter suffered and my family worried about me. A man my age should be doing something other than being jobless. Then one day, I saw a flyer in my housing about a desk clerk training program by Community Housing Partnership. This was my last chance, I said to myself. With the help of Community Housing Partnership staff, I regained the skills and the confidence I needed to re-enter the workforce, meeting expectations, arriving on time, 
and completing work and fitting into a structured setting and updating my resume and interviewing skills. After a few weeks in the program, I started to see light at the end of the tunnel. I slowly started to gain confidence and thought, yes, I can do this. I can get a job. The program taught me that getting a job as a desk clerk or a receptionist would help me get my foot in the door and other opportunities would develop. Upon graduating from the eight-week training program, I started looking for jobs, and I knew that I really wanted to work for CHP. I believed in everything that CHP was doing. Any agency that helps people the way they helped me must be a terrific place to work for. Using the skills I learned from the desk clerk training program, I was hired to work as a desk clerk for Community Housing Partnership. Thank you. I was now back in the working world. Even though it was a part-time job, I made myself available. Anytime they called and needed someone, I was there. I always came to work early with a smile on my face and gave 100%. Thank you. Um, it's been three years since I graduated from the desk clerk training program, and using the skills I learned and the encouragement of the staff, I can now proudly say that I am a maintenance supervisor at a community housing partnership building. Thank you, community housing partnership. Now, you know, we could stop right here. No one could tell that story the way someone who's lived it. And can I just take uh, 10 seconds? I still think Jonas took me back to 19, in the 1970s. I was working on the East Coast in the news, and I, I met a man who was testifying about being homeless. And he was looking at me, and he said, do you understand if you don't have an address, you can't get anything? You can't get a phone, you can't get a drug, you can't get anything without an address. And silly me, I had never even thought about that. But that man back in the 70s, I still remember him in 2013. Just like I'll never forget Jonas. So Jonas, thank you. And Dave, that is why CHP and organizations like them are so important, and that's why San Francisco can make a difference. And all of you, by being here, we're trying to end this reality, well, you know homelessness. That, yeah, and that leads us right to Karen Summeridge. Exactly. And Karen, you're coming up here right now. Would you give her a warm welcome? Hi everyone, uh, my name is Karen Sumrick. I'm a new board member to Community Housing Partnership and I'm honored to be working with this wonderful organization. Thank you so much. Uh, it's so great to see so many people here tonight. I know you came for a lot of reasons. You came to see some wonderful musical talent which we've been seeing so far. Uh, you came to see your friends, support your friends and family and you came most of all to support Community Housing Partnership. And now is the moment where we really get to support Community Housing Partnership. We're gonna do that. Uh, tonight we have a goal to raise $7,500 right now, right here, right now, with our smartphones. Uh, so we're gonna raise that money for the training services of Community Housing Partnership. So these are the programs that help people like Jonas and others to uh, enter or re-enter the workforce. It helps train people that are uh, formerly homeless and low income to gain those skills. Uh, so if you have your phones, you probably put them away and silence them, but go ahead and get them back out. We're gonna do it right now. Uh, the directions are gonna be coming up on the screen. They're also in your program. And what you'll do is you're gonna text to 41444. And in that text message, you're gonna put CHP space the amount you want to donate, so maybe it's one zero zero zero. I don't know. <laughs> Space and your name, 
send that, and that's going to trigger then a, a message that you'll receive. We'll have a link, and then you'll finish the process that way. And when you send that text message, we're going to get your name and the amount, your, the amount that you are donating up on the screen here. And we're going to do it right now. So audience, what do you think? Are we going to hit our goal tonight? $7,500? Is this a free text? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to imagine that it will be, but it won't matter. You're donating money for a great cause. So, instruction, okay. If you can put them up again, that would be great. But the text number is 41444. And you're going to text, you're going to text CHP space, the amount you're donating space, your name. So 41444, CHP, space, the amount you're donating, space, and your name. Oh, and we're starting to see some names here. I see Nathan. Thank you very much, Nathan. Sheila. Wow, Sheila. Thank you. Patrick. Awesome. Look at all this. Meredith, thank you so much for your, your contribution. This is incredible. So already $850 raised. Are we going to keep these going? Look at this. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Keep them coming. I see Mark. Thank you so much, Mark. Carolyn. Chris. This is incredible. Almost $3,000 already. Keep them coming. Karen, thank you so much. Mimi, you guys are incredible. Keep these coming. I just get to stand up here until we hit the goals. <laughs> oh my goodness. Keep them coming, Emily. Thank you, Charlie, Muhammad, and Abel. I'm not even trying the last names. Thank you guys so much. Oh my God, this is incredible. I can't believe this. You guys are amazing. Almost hitting 5,000. We're getting so close. Look at this. Randy, Danny, and Carly. Thank you. Awesome. Kimberly. Total donations at 70. You guys are getting there. My goodness. Steve, thank you. Fred. Jonathan, thank you. They're going to keep coming. I'll sit down when we hit 5,000. But just so you know, yeah. <laughs> uh oh, we're already reaching it. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you so much. And just so you know, you can continue to donate by phone. Eugene and Ken, thank you. Uh, you can keep donating by phone through Monday. And there's also an envelope in your program so that you can donate um, and fill out a check, put it into the envelope, and you can hand it to any volunteer on your way out tonight. So thank you all so much. Five, $5,500 already, 5800 Incredible. Thank you all. Thanks to Karen. Thank you all for your contributions. Yeah. This is what makes a difference, and this will help so many people out of homelessness. So we left the dance from the 80s, right? Yeah. So after the 80s come the the the, the, the 81s, the no. 90s probably. The 90s. The pr yes. Time, so to, dance time the to dance again. The 90s. Time to dance. Let's welcome back. Cardinelli Die Dance Group, again with us. So 1990 was a very significant year 
for the future of affordable housing in San Francisco. The Council of Community Housing Organizations and the Coalition on Homelessness joined forces to form Community Housing Partnership with a plan to provide housing and services to the homeless community and ultimately to break the cycle of homelessness in San Francisco. Now hear this story. Born and raised in the Fillmore and Lakeview neighborhoods of the city, Monroe Alexander Wee, he is a true na uh, San Francisco native. In his adulthood, Monroe bounced around through San Francisco shelters until he was finally able to secure a home at Community Housing Partnership's Senator residence, where he now lives with his eight-year-old daughter, Sarah. Monroe first took interest in music as a Beatles fan at age seven. He was a kid. He is enthusiastic about tonight's show and is eager to transport the audience back to the 1990s as he performs Michael Jackson's You Are Not Alone. Please welcome Monroe. Another day is gone I'm still all alone How could this be That you're not here with me You never said goodbye Someone tell me why Did you have to go slip away something whispers in my ear and says that you were not alone I am here with you though you're far away I am here to stay you were not alone I am here
I want everybody around to clap your hands like this. Sing along with me. the dancers, and the history. Now, let me just, during the second decade of operations, tell you a little bit about Community Housing Partnership. They grew the supportive housing portfolio. They began the employment and training services. They launched the Community Housing Organizing Project. They started a social enterprise. They provided treatment and substance abuse services. And each year, Community Housing Partnership works throughout the community and with the tenants to increase funding and provide more housing. Now, that leads me right to a talented young man named Tony Thomas. Now, Tony is a native of San Francisco been a part of the San Francisco community his entire life. Sadly, tragically, after the murder of his son, Tony got involved into drugs. He lost everything, lost everything. Now, when he started to rebuild his life, he lived in shelters with his family, he worked odd jobs, tried to make ends meet, but soon he enrolled in Community Housing Partnership's desk clerk training program, the same one Jonas was involved in. And as he graduated, he was hired to work as a desk clerk. Now, Tony has also been in love with music his entire life, as long as he can remember. Now, he's grateful for this chance now to give back here to Community Housing Partnership by performing in this show for you tonight. He credits this organization for helping him not only find work, but turn his life around and create a decent life for his family. 
And now, and as, oh, now see, as we step into the next decade, 2000, Tony Thomas is here and he is cruising. Tony Thomas. I convince you, baby. I need you in my life. Yeah, no, no.
Tony, Jonas, Munro, all the performers have been doing a great, great job. Yeah. So give them a round of applause. Yeah. And in fact, I must say that the judges here will have a really tough job tonight. Yeah. But <laughs> did you know each other? No? This is yeah. ooh. <laughs> okay, well the scores are tallied. We'd like to take a moment to honor this year's Building Together Awards. So these awards, just a little highlight. They highlight community, government, and corporate partners who have gone above and beyond to assist community housing partnership in achieving their mission. So they are great, great partners yeah. with CEH. Yeah. Three exemplary organizations were chosen this year. So I'd like to invite Gail Gilman back to the podium yeah. to get ball, the ball rolling with the Building Together Awards for a community category. Gail. Gail Gilman. Yes. Thank you, Fabiola. So it's my honor that I get to present this award tonight to Leadership SF. Leadership SF <laughs> is an organization that is dedicated to educating and developing community trustees throughout San Francisco, training individuals and providing them a foundation so that they can make significant contributions to strengthening our city through through community and governmental work. Leadership SF had tra has trained hundreds of leaders that are out in the world, whoops. And sa see, they should train me, I would do better at that. Um, who are out in the world, um, who are helping us in all sorts of roles, um, from, um, from our fire chief, um, Joanne White, to um, Supervisor David Chu, who is up here tonight, he's a graduate of Leadership SF. Um, to Karen Summerfield, who did our Pledge to Need, who's a board member of Community Housing Partnership. Leadership SF's program really gives um, the foundation, um, the education, um, and the insight to um, corporate and civil leaders all throughout San Francisco. And it is my honor to invite um, Diane Easton, their executive director, to accept the Community Housing Partnership um, Building Together Award on behalf of Leadership SF. The loveliness of Paris seems to have... Oh my gosh, I can't see anybody, but I know there's a crowd out there because I can hear you loud and clear. What an exciting <laughs> evening. Yeah, what an exciting evening. And I have 30 seconds to say thank you, but before I do, I want to... I just want to say, Gail Gilman and Community Housing Partnership Congratulations for such amazing work and such important work that you do in San Francisco. Our community is so blessed. For 28 years, 1,500 people have gone through Leadership San Francisco, and there's a lot of stars out there, but the stars here tonight are the ones sitting in your audience from the class of LSF 2011 that have partnered with, leader, with the Community Housing Partnership and made significant contributions to this great organization. Please stand up, LSFers. Please stand up. They've worked on a, a marketing and uh, for two, more than two years now, they've worked on a marketing and communications program to contribute their time and commitment and dedication to this great organization. So I take pride in accepting this award on their behalf and the great work that they've done for Community Housing Partnership and our community. So thank you so much. Hold on just one second. I'm not done yet. Diane Easton, thank you very much. And congratulations to her. Congratulations to all of Leadership San Francisco. 
for all the work, the great work that you do in a job well done. Now I'd like to bring up Supervisor Jane Kim to present our next award. Supervisor Kim. intro music. Good evening. This is one of my favorite events every year. How many of you agree with me on that? I'm always reminded to um, how important community housing partnership is to our organization, I, to our city. Um, every day I get emails asking me what I'm doing as a supervisor to combat homelessness in our city. And I always like to say that funding organizations like Community Housing Partnership is one of the ways that I'm combating homelessness here in San Francisco. And Jonas, I just want to thank you so much for your testimony. I actually made a contribution to CHP yesterday. And today, um, due to your testimony, I was, I was moved to make another contribution today. And I want to thank everyone that contributed. Um, that was one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, but it's really a testament to your work. As I had mentioned, the emails that we get are overwhelming, and in many ways, I could spend all of my time on my job just dedicated to issues of homelessness. And I remember feeling overwhelmed by that um, and wanting to be able to do more of that work, that advocacy, but also the connecting of the resources. Um, the universe heard me um, in my first year in office and, and sent me uh, an individual in the form of former supervisor Bevan Dufty. Um, to really accomplish that incredible need that we have here in the city. Um, our mayor uh, approached Bevan, um, knew of his incredible dedication and commitment, and already his decades of service to the city and county of San Francisco, to see um, how he can continue um, being a public servant for a city. And Bevan knew that the area that he was passionate about was in issues of homelessness and housing and using his star, star power um, was able to form uh, something that only he could have entitled the Mayor's Office of Hope. And that is the Mayor's Office of Housing, Opportunity, Partnerships, and Engagement. The Mayor's Office of Hope, um, I'm sorry, the Mayor's Office of Hope, yes, has recognized the value of community housing partnership and collaborated with, with CHP on a number of projects, including the innovative WOOF program. The Mayor's Office of Hope its role is to find ways to improve outcomes from individuals in all forms of city-sponsored housing, including shelters, supportive public, and affordable, uh, affordable housing. Hope truly assists CHP in advancing that mission, and for that, I thank you. With future projects on the horizon, we are honored to recognize Hope with Community Housing Partnerships 2013 Building Together Award for the Public Sector. It's great to see everybody here. I'm here with my colleague, Dee Sheck Snyder, uh, who is amazing. We both started out working for Mayor Willie Brown some time ago. And our, our third colleague, uh, Amanda Freed, uh, just had a baby, Aviva, uh, last month. And so she's not here. As you know, it's who it comes from. And so I want to say to be recognized by Community Housing Partnership is that much sweeter. And I love being in an event where the people are here for this event. It is, it is not just the donors who we appreciate, but it's the people that are here and are excited. And we are at Hope to do the people's work. And what I want to say is I hope within the next year, everybody who's in need has one of our business cards because we have a family card and that's what you see up there with all of our numbers. And Dee has helped over 200 people in this past year who live in public housing, whose basic needs have not been addressed, whether it's maintenance needs or people who are not being responded to when they're falling off the waiting list. And I want to thank CHP for providing outstanding housing and recognizing the value of social enterprise and partnering with us on WOOF when we came forward and said that people who are coming out of homelessness have incredible value and gifts to contribute to our city and to the world. And people challenged us on that. But CHP stood tall and individuals like Gail and Lori and people that work for CHP every day make a huge, huge difference. And so our agenda is about 
changing homelessness and poverty. I think it is extremely difficult, and I think that the systems that exist to allow a Section 8 waiting list to be closed for 12 years, to have a public housing waiting list is closed for five years, that's an injustice, and we can change that. And I am grateful to have the opportunity to work for the mayor, and I am grateful that this mayor has shaken up the Housing Authority Commission and that we're going to do things differently. And we recognize also that homelessness is disproportionately and overwhelmingly African-American. And I want to say to these companies that have come in, I hope some of you are here tonight, because I have to tell you it is very disappointing when I come to see these companies that are very concerned about the neighborhood that they've moved into, and they have no or a handful, a handful means one or two, African-American members of their staff. And we are going to be about changing that. And I know CHP is our partner in many projects. I want to thank D. I want to thank Supervisor Jane Kim, who has done an amazing job. She has been a true community builder, and she is our ally. She is our top ally. God bless. We'll work with you, okay? Thank you. Congratulations again, Bevan Dufty and your staff from the Mayor's Office of Hope. Thank you. So now we'd like Steve Walmark, one of the Community Housing Partnerships board members, to present the last award. So could you step we'll here? here? Right here. I'm right sorry. Here. How are you? How you guys doing? Good, good, thank you. Hey, everyone. How you doing tonight? I'm Steve Walmark. I'm a Community Housing Partnership board member. Um, I've been a board member at CHP for the last six years. I get to come to this event every year, and I have to say it's one of the best nights of my year. Um, every night I come here and I am so inspired by the incredible work that Community Housing Partnership does. Uh, it, it really, it means so much to me to be part of this organization, and so much to me uh, to have a chance to participate in uh, such a wonderful event. Uh, so I'm thrilled tonight to be uh, here to present the award uh, to Raymond James and Kevin Kilbane. Uh, over the last three years, Raymond James has committed to investing $35 million of equity, $35 million in our development projects in order to assist us in advancing our mission. With the Drs. Julian and Ray Richardson project coming to a close in the coming months, this is the perfect event and venue to honor Raymond James for their expansive efforts. We are pleased to recognize Raymond James with the Community Housing Partnership 2013 Building Together Award for the Corporate Sector. Please give Raymond James a big round of applause, everyone. Here he comes, here he comes. Uh, hello. Um, thank you for the uh, kind words on Raymond James' behalf. Um, as Stephen mentioned, yeah, we've committed $35 million, and it sounds like a daunting task over the last couple of years, but really, uh, as an equity investor nationwide in affordable housing, our job is really uh, made fairly easy uh, in choosing partners like Community Housing Partnership. They're really the ones who do the heavy lifting. It's such a talented organization that is really extremely dedicated to uh, providing the highest quality of permanent supportive housing and services for the residents. So uh, in, in choosing which organizations to commit that kind of funding to, um, our job really is easy, quite frankly. They're just a tremendous organization to work with. And we're certainly proud to be a sponsor of theirs. And, and we're, we're one of a number of organizations, and I know there's uh, another a number of organizations in this room that, that support community housing partnerships efforts. So clearly we saw the fruits of their labor here tonight with these performers on stage, and I'm sure that's just you know, the tip of the iceberg in terms of the success stories that they've been involved in. So, uh, again, on behalf of Raymond James, thank you. We're a proud sponsor of Community Housing Partnership, and we look forward to uh, continuing to work with them. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Congratulations. I thought I was back on TV for just a moment. Okay. Thank you very, very much. What you do is very, very important and that you are appreciated. We've come to the part where we have to decide 
who was the best. The judges have made your decision. Would you agree everybody was good tonight, all of our performers? I'm taking you along. So it's fine. Yeah. But you know what? Why is important that we all give this round of applause, applause to everyone? Because that's why. Oh, yeah. But besides your recognition and the support of all these organizations, each performer will receive an award and, yes, monetary prize. So every performer. Everybody's winning tonight. But as you know, we do have judges, the best judges in North, South, East, West, and other Americas. The judges have voted. The tally is in. I'm going to start with our third place winner tonight, LaTanya Jones. There's the time. <laughs> you sang good. <laughs> Thank you. Latanya. So the second place winner is Kwame Evans. Kwame Evans. And now, last but not least, our first place winner tonight. The drum roll, please. You're Monroe. Really <laughs> Monroe. Monroe. Monroe, are you still there? <laughs> you good? <laughs> I'm so. sorry. It just came out. I, I don't know where it came from. <laughs> We're not finished yet. Okay. Have you seen the, the prices? The, the, the raffle, raffle prices? prices for this no. year? Well, you really? should, and you should. And that is why I would like to invite you to see them and purchase your tickets on your way out, or there's another place. Yeah. Where? Uh, well, you can go on the dessert, the dessert yeah. reception. Very with all the good food prices. upstairs? Yes, okay, of okay good. All right, it's dessert. So we don't forget to join too. us there. That's we right. We really would love to see you there. Well, I have to tell you, you've been the perfect audience. We thank you. You could not have been a better audience any place in this theater tonight. Much obliged. And as a way of saying good night and thank you, all of the performers are coming back, all the members of the Community Housing Partnership staff, and even some of the hosts are going to come out on stage, send you off one final act. Well, it's the, before we adjourn, so let's do all that as we say good night and wrap up a wonderful night of the stars. And I want to say, I think that I can say with a lot of confidence that all of us in stage, the organizers, and all of you there in the audience, are here because of one wonderful reason, and we're standing for something. And I'm really sure to say that we can create the pathway for success for people who have endured homelessness. Thank you so much for being here. Let's do it. Some nights I stay up casting in my bad luck. Some nights I call it a draw. Some nights I wish that my lips could build a castle Some nights I wish they just fall off But I still wake up, I still see our ghosts Oh Lord, 